Now the fun, now the fun part comes. Lifting, we're gonna do shoulders and traps. So, need one second. Now we'll jump right into that. So to start with, we're doing lateral raises, front raises, and rear raises. We're going to do 10 of each. So when I started doing these, I think I started out with about maybe 5 pounds to be able to do 30 reps consecutively. And uh, so if, you're, if you do have shoulder injuries or pain though, um, don't bring it up near as far. Just right here. Keep your shoulders locked back and down through your lats. So Bob, that's especially for you. If you can lock your lats down or your shoulders down with the back of your lat um, and pin your shoulders right at like the middle point of the sternum and then do the shoulder raises, front raises. I don't think I've said that before. I think I usually said the rhomboids. But really focus on your lats pulling your shoulder down. And you see how my left shoulder hangs a little bit lower than my right shoulder? Make sure you're symmetrical on either side. That'll help also um, with injuries. So, all right. So 10, 10 laterals. Actually, no, I take that back. Yeah, let's start with lateral. Okay. And standing your heels, flexing your glutes so you don't have that arch in your lower back. Locking your shoulders in place with your rhomboids, lats, and traps. Nice and slow and controlled. Okay, got 10 there. I think I don't, I don't really count that well, so if I'm not doing 10, it's close enough. All right. Um, let's go into rear. So you want your pinkies, your uh, pinkies facing out, facing out, and you're basically doing a, a rear fly, but it'll target your rear delts. So pull your shoulder blades back, breathe. You're gonna be doing a rear fly. Is the next one just a few seconds in between to let some blood flow get back to the shoulders and we're going to move right into front front shoulder raises i like to do one, these ones one arm at a time That's it. That's a good one. If you want to get some big shoulders, uh, definitely you got to do a lot of reps. I don't think weight doing like huge amounts of shoulder press is quite as beneficial as reps for the shoulders. They, they seem to get injured so much that heavier weights probably just aren't as effective. They are effective. You'll grow, but the likelihood that you eventually get hurt and then you have to take a whole bunch of time off. It's just a little bit higher. So lighter weight. I don't know. That's that's why I like now. We did heavy weights in college. Right, Cole? Alright, let's do set two. Starting with lateral raises. Remember, pin your shoulders back with your lats. So with your lats, your rhomboids, and a little trap, you want to lock your shoulders in place. Make sure that one's not higher than the other. And make sure your butt's not sticking out. So you don't want this while you're doing it. Pull your hips in, stand through your heels. All 
Okay, I didn't make it. I don't know how many that was, like six? I don't know. Hopefully you guys made it. You chose a weight more applicable to your muscle strength. All right, let's go to reverse uh, rear delt flies. Remember, don't let those, don't let the butt come out. So you're staying through the hips, so the spine isn't being stressed. Okay. On on this one, Bob, you should really feel your lats uh, pulling back. Also, as you do a rear delt fly, your your lats should be helping with this movement a lot. Now front delt. All right, front delt. Pull your hips in, one at a time. Lock your uh, lock your shoulders back, your lats, rhomboids, and a little bit of your traps. set two we're gonna try to get one more you know it's it's crazy is you have a free um, you know everyone wants a trainer but they don't want to pay $50 an hour I have a free thing online and there's not a whole bunch of people watching maybe it's a bad time this isn't early enough and it's just late enough that people are going to work what do you guys say about starting at five No, I'm not doing that. All right, I'm dropping weights. So I can get a lot of reps in this one. So let's start out with the lateral raise right here. Pull the butt in so you don't want the arch. Pull the butt in, lock the shoulders back, and breathe. Breathing, if you can't breathe during your exercise, you're doing something wrong. You're using some muscles that ought not be used. Right to back, uh, rear delt raises. Okay, so lean forwards. Again, your weight is in your heels, so you can almost balance on your heels without putting your toes down. Pull the butt in, rear delt raise. Okay, that sucks. They're burning pretty good. All right, front delt raise. Again, keep the weight in the heels. Thumbs up, that's how I like to do it when I'm holding just plates. One at a time, lock your shoulders back with your lats, your traps and your rhomboids. Even when you're doing a front raise, you should feel your back flexing because your back is holding your shoulder the shoulder, uh, the ball of the shoulder in the socket so it doesn't clank around when you do movements. So when you do bench press, you should be using your lats. When you do a shoulder raise, you should be using your lats in that posterior chain back there. Ah, I think that was around 10. Again, I wasn't counting. Where was I? <sighs> All right. So let's do some traps now. Uh, we're gonna go back and forth. We're gonna do shoulders, traps, shoulders, traps. So the other one gets a break for a second. Um, even though they are pretty synergistic muscles, they, they typically work together. But, Bob, I, I think this will really, this, this part should really help your spine. If, you have, if that is the cause of the problem. If you have a lot of spinal problems, uh, working the muscles around the spine, traps, rhomboids, spinelli erectors, that is a big way that you get decompression, you get mobility, you can, un um, you can loosen nerves that are stuck, and uh, like a lot of uh, 
exercises for fixing the spine or reverse hyperextensions. And that's just flexing all those muscles in the spine, getting them used to working again. So traps might help your upper spine. So let's give that a try. Right here, you got your dumbbells. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lock your shoulders back with your lats and a very small movement up and really squeeze back. So you wanna go up and back and try to relax your neck as much as possible. Okay, so the neck, if you start feeling your face flex or your, the sides of your neck flex or weird places, then really just focus on the traps and squeeze back so you're, um, you're going back as far as you can. But again, it's an up and back, not just an up. And we're going to do about 10 reps, 15 reps, whatever, depending on what weight you have. Tuck the chin too. Don't let your head go up. I was letting my head go up. Don't do that. Tuck, keep your chin tucked so your spine is nice and neutral. Okay. I didn't do traps for the longest time, and I think that was a big part of my, my problem. Hey, Gabby, what's up? Um... But uh, now I've been doing them because uh, a physical therapist told me, he's like, yeah, I might, that might help your spine out a little bit because I have a little bit of compression in my spine. And so I started doing them. And sure enough, after I do traps, uh, my back cracks and it feels looser and my shoulders feel a lot better. So, all right, let's jump into the next set. I can't say that's, that's going to happen for everyone, but help me. All right, right here, stand through your heels and go up and back. Tuck the chin and breathe. that feel? Anyone got any questions? Who's all doing it with me? And is rusting on yet? Do we have rusting yet? No, nope, we sure don't. It's okay. He'll get on. Alright, a um, few more seconds and we're going to do the last uh, set of, of traps. Make sure again that you're uh, point up and back. So you really want to focus right here, uh, pulling up and back towards the spine uh, and up to some degree, but a lot, a lot of flexing back. Your chest should come out a little bit and, and you're pinning always at the sternum. And what I mean by pinning is your shoulders are locked back and down and the middle of everything is your sternum. Don't know how else to say that, but it's something you pretty much have to just feel. Okay, let's go again. Stand through the heels, up and back. All right, we're trying for anywhere between uh, like 8 and 15 reps, depending on what kind of weight you have. Um, if some people are, if you're just carrying like a brick and that's all you got, maybe do closer to 20 reps. But if you do have dumbbells, and these things are extremely cheap. If you can find someone who just has these old dumbbells with the, uh, the smaller hole, the small bar, <laughs> A lot of people just have these seen in their garage from, you know, when Arnold's glory days were going on and uh, and uh, someone thought they were going to be Arnold with dumbbells and then gave up. So you'll find them in a lot of garages on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, and they can be pretty cheap. All right, let's go back to shoulders. <laughs> so, Bob, I hope this one doesn't bug you, but it might. So. 
be careful. And again, when you're holding your uh, shoulders, lock them back and down with your lats and, and just try to breathe as much as you can. And, uh, <clears throat> and then hang. If you have anything, hang with your hands in, you know, parallel, wider, anything to loosen up that spine. But we're going to start here, and I call them Arnold presses. I don't know why, if that's their actual name. But I do them one at a time. Okay, so press them up. Remember, your lats are flexing. Even though you're using your shoulder, your lats and your rhomboids, they are flexing to hold your shoulder back and in place. Sounds counterintuitive, but it's really not. Once you get the feeling for having your, your lats and your rhomboids flex while your shoulder pushes up or while you do bench press, you be like, oh yeah, no, that makes sense feels nice and uh, secure in the shoulder. And basically, I'm going into failure on these sets. And then once I reach pretty much failure, I'm just gonna do baby sets right here, just to get the last few bits of energy out of my shoulder. And that's it. Okay. But, uh, what else? Oh, that's a, the other thing I was going to ask. If you have that, a lot of that spine pain, I can't recommend anything because I'm not a doctor, but I would try DMSO. I really would. I know it stinks, but that's what I do. All right, a few more seconds. We're going to go into our next round of shoulder press, okay? And uh, we're doing Arnold press right now. Gosh. I have a, um, a silver sneakers alert, but silver sneakers isn't on anymore. All right, let's go into the next one. So we're doing Arnold press right here. Lock your shoulders back. Flex your glutes so you're standing through your heel and your spine is neutral. Press one up. Press the other up. Leave it up there. And again, for all of you who just joined, um, you got to flex your lats when you're doing shoulder press. Your lats, your traps, your rhomboids, they are the stabilizers to your shoulder. And you have to stand through your glutes or else you can't really use those upper spinalian erectors. They just don't work the same. All right. All right. All right. Bring them on camera. Oh. Is that two sets? Yeah, it's two sets. So we're going to do two more of shoulder press and then we're going to go back to some uh, traps. But I need a drink of water. And you know, this is the same workout that I've been doing um, with small variations, but really the same workout I've been doing for about five years. And I put on all the size that I have right now with this workout. Uh, it's really not that hard. You just have to be consistent with it. Uh, it's like any habit. If you're uh, an alcoholic, you don't stop drinking for a day. Um, so uh, if you want a, a good habit or a bad habit, they're still the same. You got to do them consistently and every day. It's a terrible analogy. <laughs> All right. Let's do another shoulder press. Shoulders locked back with your lats. Traps and rumbles. Starting to fail. Do as many as you can. Paul oh, Crab. What's up, man? Oh, yeah. All right. So that was three. We're going to take a little bit of a shorter break, do one more, and uh, and then we'll move back to traps. But you know, I, I haven't spoken much about eating, um, but eating is a, is a huge part of, of, of lifting. If you're lifting and, and breaking down the muscle and then not repairing it with adequate amounts of protein, carbs, and uh, fats, your growth will, will be a lot slower. It, it's just going to happen. I mean, your body needs fats to make its uh, its hormones, 
So a lot of your uh, test estrogen, uh, they come from animal fats, which is so commonly frowned upon. I never have those, but uh, they are essential. I mean, they come from other fats too, and a lot of fats help the brain work. And then carbs are your glycogen store replacement. So after you lift, you gotta restore the glycogen in your muscle, and that helps uptake a protein, so then you need protein. I mean, if you're not eating right, you're gonna have some troubles. All right, let's do one more set. Up, flexing the lats, traps, and rhomboids to lock the shoulders in place, breathing. Let's get a few more reps. All right, okay. So that was the Arnold press, the single arm Arnold press, I guess you can call it, or that's what I call it at least. Um, and depending on how tall you are, how much you weigh, and how much you do activity-wise, uh, even outside of lifting, uh, that really determines how many carbs you have to take in. But for example, um, I'm around 6'2", about 220, and I usually get about 3,500 calories, and I will gain weight at that. Even with all the cardio and the lifting, I will gain weight if I stay at that. But uh, that's that's where I'm at right now because well, I'm bored and I'm home all the time, so I eat a lot more. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's do some uh, more traps. And what we're gonna do for traps this time is uh, a bit unconventional. You've probably not done this one before. And I want to stress that be careful with your lower spine. Uh, really protect it. And what I mean by that is when we're going down, your weights and your heels, using your glutes to stabilize your lower back. But we're gonna be in a bent over position, okay? And be right here. Keep your weight in your heels, okay? So you can take nice deep, nice, nice deep breaths through the stomach. And you're gonna do a a, a, almost a, a backwards shrug. So you're pulling your shoulders back and up slightly. Keep your neck neutral. So you don't want your neck up here, you don't want your neck down there. Neck neutral and breathe. And try to relax everything in your face. When you do traps, it tends to set off nerves that do weird things in your face. So really focus just on the traps. And again, I always forget half the things I need to say, but uh, we're, you want to do anywhere from eight to 15 uh, reps, depending on how much weight you have, but I usually get about eight, eight to 15. That's where I like to stay, and it seems ideal for, for growth and, and strength, so. All right, we're gonna do four sets of this, not much rest in between. If it weren't for lifting, my alter ego, my alter ego is definitely Cartman. Uh, so, if it weren't for lifting, I would be very big boned, as Cartman says. <laughs> All right, let's uh, do another set. Remember, you're uh, you're in a deadlift position, so your shoulders back, holding your weight through your glutes, and we're gonna do. Um, it's kind of it's a trap raise but it's more of a trap you're pulling your traps back so you're hitting a lot of rhomboids you're hitting the lats keep your neck neutral and breathe it's hard bob are you getting dizzy at all we uh, didn't really give you, I didn't give you time to eat really in between. I'm feeling it a little bit. It's my own fault, I do this to myself every time. All right, is that two sets? I think so. Whatever, we're doing two more. All right, that's about enough time. Again, let's grab the weights, go through one more set of Trap pullbacks. I don't even know what you call them. Trap raises. 
So you're in a, uh, a squat or a deadlift position and pulling your traps back. Do you feel any um, popping in your spine or does that hurt anywhere? If it does, you probably have some spinal com uh, compression and that'll have to be addressed, but but uh, this one has helped my spine quite a bit. And, and so if you stand a little bit pronated, like a lot of people do, like you see, I don't know who's a good example. Um, Dwayne Johnson, you see him stand and he's a little bit pronated. I would really wonder if he's got a lot of back, like upper neck problems. Obviously he's huge, so he can't be that bad. But um, a lot of people who do stand like that, like myself, I was pronated for a long time, had a lot of spine problems. So you really have to pull your shoulders back, use your lats and tuck, tuck your hips so you're not standing like that. So tuck the hips and that'll help the, all the posterior chain uh, work in conjunction. So, all right, one more set. <coughs> Notice when I, I go down, I don't know if you can see, but every time I pick up the weights, my knees don't go in front of my toes. So you practice good habits and you know, they'll become habits and you'll do them throughout the day and you'll protect your own knees. But we already talked about that. All right, down to deadlift position. Do our trap raises slash pullbacks. that was four so that'll be it for that let's go back into another shoulder exercise Whew. I take maybe a second break grab some water Bob is your book published yet are you JK Rowling yet I hope so all right, so for the next shoulder exercise, we're gonna do upright rows. Um, and I'm gonna stand up for them. You don't have to be on your knees. That doesn't seem very healthy for them. We're gonna do an upright row. You're gonna really focus on locking your shoulders back with your lats. This is, this is paramount in this exercise. You have to pull them back and down. So you want this muscle, your lat. This one, your trap, which goes all the way down the spine. It's in the shape of a, um, well, diamond. But anyways, uh, your trap working and you want your rhomboids working, which are in between the shoulder blade. So they hold your shoulders right here. They're not here. They're not up here. They're right here. And then we're doing upright raise. Almost feel like you're lifting your elbow up. Ah, that's frustrating. Sorry to hear that. Soon. All right. So right here. Lock those shoulders back and down. Make sure your shoulders are even. If one is lower than the other one, bring it to about even. And we're going to do an upright raise. <sighs> Feel like you're lifting your elbows up. Uh, instead of, you know, like your hands, your forearms are just hooks. And you're lifting your elbows up. For me, it helps me uh, target my shoulders. I really shouldn't be doing this on my knee. And a lot of people will say this exercise is bad for your shoulders. Um, and, and yes, it can be. Uh, and, and so can deadlifts and so can bicep curls. But basically, they're only bad for your shoulders if you don't know how to pin your shoulders in place. Uh, so if you're if you're pronated here and doing a shoulder raise, yeah, it's gonna be or a, a lateral raise, it's gonna be really bad for for your shoulder. Or if you're up here and, and do it, you know, it's gonna be bad for them too. So there's a lot of wrong ways to do exercises and make sure you pin them and right around your uh, gosh, sternum. Uh, that's, that's where you want the center. That's where you want to be sticking forwards. And, and when you lock back, that's the, the dead center of your, your pinning your shoulders and then just lifting up. So there's not much trap involved besides stabilization. All right, let's do one more set. I need to stand up. All right. Right here and again if you're if your butt's out like this you're not going to be using your spinelli erectors right so do a pelvic tilt forward stand through your heels okay 
Lock your shoulders back. Do about eight reps, eight to 15. And breathe all the way through. Okay, that's got it. I like to go to failure every time, completely not necessary. Um, in fact, if you do go to failure every time, you're probably setting yourself up for a little bit more injury. Um, but it is what it is. I like to do it. So we're going to do, was that two sets? Maybe. Yeah. We're going to do two more sets of uh, shoulder raises. Someone needs to count for me on this line because I can't count. I always mess it up. Not much break. We're going to go pretty much straight into the next upright row. Gosh, I've been calling it a lateral raise. It's an upright row. <sighs> All right, let's go for another, another set. Stand through the heels, lock the shoulders back and down, and try to think about just lifting your elbows. You should feel your lats. Um, uh, you should feel your lats and your traps and your and your rhomboids flexed, but your shoulder is doing the lifting. Apparently my shoulders are tired. Okay. One more set. It's harder to do everything and talk at the same time. But it's fun too. But I'm dropping weight way down and I'm just gonna do a ton of reps. And we're going to go straight into it. And when you don't take a lot of uh, rep uh, time in between, you're going to have to use lighter weights. If you don't have the option to use lighter weights, just do as many reps as you, well, try to do as many reps as you can. But, all right. Lock the shoulder blades back, stand through the heels. Go back in and do another trap exercise um, because traps don't move a whole bunch there's not a huge variation of exercises to do for them however I do have one more I do like doing muscles individually uh, so one arm at a time it makes the serape system work and if you're not familiar with the serape system it would be um, probably prudent to go check it out and understand how the strap based system works. Because if it doesn't work right, you're gonna be injured. It's just gonna happen. Um, so, grab our dumbbells, go straight back into traps, and basically, same, uh, just a simple trap. So stand through the heels and do one shoulder at a time. Make sure the core is holding you and you'll feel the weight transfer from leg to leg as, as you're doing individual traps. But, um, it, it'll help. It helps the spine, helps a lot of the nerves. If you have some nerve damage there, you can really make a difference by, by getting the traps and the spine up there working right. Remember, stick your chest out. You're pinning, stick your sternum out. So try to stick that out and, and do that by pulling your lats back. So pull your lats, your rhomboids, and your traps back and, and stick your sternum out and then do these exercises. Okay. Every time you pick it up, make sure you're doing it right. Don't let your knees go over your toes. Right there, one at a time. Can you feel the weight switching uh, subtly from one leg to the next as you do one at a time? Keep your chin tucked, don't let your chin go up. Relax your neck so if your neck's working, really focus uh, your mind on your traps. And then at the end, uh, when you're pretty much done doing one at a time, just, you know, kind of 
I don't do good form with this, but I get a whole bunch more in, as many as I can. <sighs> Going two at a time. <sighs> okay. <sighs> oh, yeah. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna do three more sets of that, and then uh, another shoulder exercise, and we'll, we'll pretty much be done after that. Uh, let's see what time is it. Eight oh eight. Oh, we can go a little bit longer. It's only been 40 minutes. Um, all right, let's do another set. Right here, pin the shoulders back, stand with the heels. Breathe. I need to get some music going. My music's always on my phone though, and my phone is currently preoccupied with my camera right now. Alright, and then after you pretty much go to failure doing one at a time, get a few more reps in. Maybe I might, uh, I might have to do this later at night. What time do you normally lift? I need some water. All right, we'll jump into the next set. Uh, yeah, when you're ready. Let's go. Alright, so stand through the heels, shoulders back. One at a time. Breathe, keep the chin tucked. A few more. And then once you fail doing one at a time, do two. Finish with doing two. Relax your face, keep your chin tucked, stand through the heels. One more set. Caleb, you lifting too? We're doing shoulders and traps today. After uh, we did cardio in the morning, like you said, I w uh, we went through a whole list of uh, just kind of floor cardio stuff and then uh, moved to shoulders and traps. So. All right, one more, one more set, and we'll be done oh, yeah, with these trap raises. So again, stand through the shoulders, pull, uh, lock the shoulder, or stand through the heels rather. Pull the shoulders back with your lats, rhomboids, and traps, one at a time. Breathe, tuck the chin. Uh, whenever I'm doing these, I, I do feel my my lats. They're they're staying. Um, Flex my lats, ramboid, rhomboids, and traps. I'm talking too much. They do stay flexed uh, as as a support group, as a stabilizer group, and then my traps do the moving. But uh, I think that's that's really important um, in, in in getting all the rotator cuff muscles to work too. You know, your teres minor, infraspinatus, making all those um, work really well. I think you have to have the lats, traps, and rhomboids flexed, or else those don't flex and and then you just end up uh, with a shoulder disaster. Um, all right, so we're going to do probably one more shoulder exercise. Um, my shoulders are getting pretty tired, but uh, we'll do we'll do one more. And I know a lot of people aren't much for over the head shoulders, but I know they can be detrimental if you have shoulder problems. But um, without cables, without you know, a lot of the other equipment that we'd normally use, uh, it's really just a lot easier to do, uh, actually, you know what, we'll do another, we'll do just crosses. So just grab your dumbbells, uh, grab your plates, grab whatever you want to use, and pull the hips in, and we're just going to go out right here. So we're going to, I don't know what exactly this is, uh, what you'd call this. It's kind of a rear delt fly, it's kind of a lateral raise, it's kind of a front raise. But I noticed this is good for um, making sure that I use my lats 
my rhomboids and my traps to stabilize while I was using my shoulders because it's a, a very compound movement in terms of the, the directional uh, plane you're going on. So you really have to focus on using all those muscles to stabilize as much as possible. And let's go for as many reps as we can get. And at the end, you'll notice that I do little baby reps. Um, it, it, uh, that's just what I, I like to do to finish off. It, it's a, a reduced range of motion, but you can get a little bit more time under tension and a few more baby reps out of it. I think that's good. Look, okay, mid-afternoon. I'm afraid that there's not many people that have uh, that luxury right now like we do. Well, I do every day also because I work at a gym, but... <laughs> All right, we're gonna do three more sets. So let's pick these up. We're gonna go pretty fast through these. And again, shoulders locked back and let's go. Breathe. You should really feel the shoulder burning. So what that burning is, and I know we've talked about this before, but uh, what that burning is, is, is usually lactic acid building up in the muscle group or lack of oxygen or maybe a little bit of both. But um, if I uh, recall it right, lactic acid triggers the body to produce growth hormone. So a little bit of burn is definitely a good thing. In the long run, growth hormone is good for you. Okay. Oy. Do, that was two, so two more sets. And then we'll be done with uh, this guy. We're only gonna take about a 30 second break. Um, one, because I really need food. And two, because if you're doing a home workout, uh, Bob, besides you and I, there's probably not as many people who like lifting for two hours straight. So, or three hours straight. Oh. But, uh, all right, let's go again. Some people like it. All right, lock the shoulders back using the lats, rhomboids, and traps, standing through the heels. Try to think of lifting your, your elbow, not your, your hand. Try thinking of just, just lifting your elbow up and see if that, uh, in your hand is just a hook holding on to the weight and see if that changes your, how your body's working a little bit. Oh man, <clears throat> all right, one more. And we can finally be done with the shoulders. And they're burning pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think of one more exercise we could do that would just uh, kind of really burn them out at the end. With with what we have here, it is a little bit, uh, little bit tricky. Unless we just want to go back to overhead press, which I'm all for, but we'll see. All right, one more set. Grab your weights, stand through the heels, locking the shoulders back. Breathe, make sure you're breathing. If you can't breathe right, you're doing something wrong. Oh man, okay. I think that's about it. Yeah, I uh, I think that's good. That's good for shoulders and traps. I, I don't uh, for anyone who, who's doing this for the first time or or you know maybe pr relatively new to lifting, you, you'll probably get decently sore from that. Um, so let's go ahead and, and call that a day. <laughs> I just saw that. Um, and I call that a day for now. I would hate to uh, have any any bad shoulder injuries uh, pop up for those who maybe didn't know they had them. Um, so we'll call that good. And as we keep going, uh, we'll get more in depth with a few other type of uh, shoulder trap exercises, even though there's not that many, uh, but a few more that we can do. And hopefully if you guys watching can grab more uh, lifting material, dumbbells, if you can get a barbell, that'd be awesome. And a band and something, some place to hook that band to that would be fantastic. Um, but if not, we'll, we'll just keep going with these dumbbells and make our provisions. It'll just be uh, a little bit more basic. But all right, thanks 
for being on. I will be on again tomorrow and we'll be doing uh, biceps and triceps and and of course cardio in the morning. So 7 o'clock cardio, 7.30 lifting and uh, we'll see where we go from there. But then, what is it, tomorrow? What is it, tomorrow? Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. So uh, and then that'll be it for the week. Friday, Saturday, Sunday's recovery days. Um, or cardio recovery days, uh, but basically uh, I'm not going to be online Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So if you want to join me for arms, biceps, triceps, seven cardio, seven thirty lifting, and thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.